Hi everybody. In this video, what I'd like to talk about is the distinction between probability of occupancy and proportion of units that are occupied. Now the distinction between them is subtle and it's something that doesn't matter a lot of the time, but there are some situations that it really can be quite important. The confusing thing is that oftentimes we will use an observed proportion to estimate a probability, but like I said, there are two different things and that distinction between them can be quite important and useful as well. So a probability, uh, a probability is, a, is associated with some characterization of an underlying process of interest, whereas a proportion is an outcome of that process. So for example, suppose I have a coin, uh, the coin has some underlying probability of being a head, but if I flip that coin 10 times and I get 6 heads out of 10 flips of the coin, then I have an observed proportion um, which is equal to 60%. Now if I'm interested in that underlying probability of that coin coming up heads, I could keep flipping that coin lots of times and eventually I'm going to get a, um, an estimate of that probability that's going to be fairly accurate based upon the number of heads and number of tails. And as I increase the number of times I flip that coin, my uncertainty in that estimate will get smaller. However, if I'm not interested in the underlying probability of that coin being heads, but what proportion of my 10 flips of the coin came up heads, then I have no uncertainty on that estimate. I know it exactly because it's some observed outcome from this underlying process of, of coin flipping. And in that situation, I've got no standard error on that proportion because again, like I said, I know exactly. I'm not extrapolating out or trying to make inference about what proportion of coin flips come up heads beyond the 10 that I actually did. Now, that same sort of distinction applies when we're talking about occupancy models. Um, if we're in a situation where we have a relatively small number of units that we're collecting data from, and that represents our entire to a universe of interest, then trying to use the underlying probability of occurrence as an estimate for that proportion, we're going to have standard errors that are, are too large. And so what that means is that we should make some secondary sort of adjustments to our estimates because things like our software like presence and our presence and program mark and unmarked and those sorts of packages will often report estimates of the probability of occurrence. And so we're only, if we're only interested in say you know, 50 units then we've collected data on all of those 50 units and we want to know what proportion of those 50 units were probably occupied by our species of interest then using the estimate from presence for example uh, the estimate is probably fine but the standard error on that estimate will be too large. So there are some secondary uh, adjustments we can make like I said and, and on screen here now is a bit of a, a graphic to just illustrate you know, how big of a, a difference that can make uh, if we apply these secondary uh, corrections to our standard error. And so this is the case where we've got occupancy or psi is 0.6 We've estimated or assumed a detection probability of 0.4 per survey. We have four surveys, that's so the value for K, and also we've collected data from 50 units of interest. Now on the x-axis of this graph, what we have is the fraction of the total population of interest uh, that's been surveyed. So on the right-hand side, uh, we have 100%, so suppose that our 50 units that we've collected data from represents our entire universe of interest, uh, then that standard error that we get um, is actually about 60% of the standard, oh, sorry, the standard error for the proportion is about 60% of the standard error for our probability of occupancy that would be estimated from the likes of presence. And then as we reduce the fraction of this population that's actually surveyed, then that uh, standard error, or at least the relative standard error, uh, approaches one, so it gets pretty much the same size uh, as a standard error for that probability of occupancy. So as we, for example, suppose um, so a thousand units, and so 50 out of a thousand is a fairly small fraction, so it's right down the left hand side there. Uh, in that case, our standard error for that proportion of units that are occupied is about the same, and we're pretty close to the standard error from the probability of occupancy. Uh, so this is also related or similar to when we have finite population corrections that sometimes people talk about in standard sort of sampling problems.
So the distinction between them is, is quite important. So for the probability of occupancy, that's about the underlying characteristics of the units and whether they're occupied or not. Whereas that proportion of units that are occupied is sort of an outcome of that process. It's after Mother Nature has flipped her coin uh, at each of our units of interest and is determining whether or not the species is actually present or absent at the time of surveying. Uh, and this distinction isn't really important when we're talking about sort of large sample situations where we're only sampling you know, a relatively small fraction of that total population of interest. But if we're sampling quite a large fraction of that population of interest, then this distinction is more important. And in fact, if we really are interested in proportion of units that are occupied, then the standard errors that are reported on our estimates from the likes of presence will be too big. And we can actually do better than that. Um, when might you be interested in each of those situations? So I'd, I'd suggest that if you're in, in a, a monitoring program or a monitoring situation where you're trying to um, keep a, a track of what was actually out there at the time of your surveying, then you're probably interested, oops, you're, you're more likely to be interested in uh, what proportion of units were occupied. Whereas if, it is, if it's more of a science type question and just trying to understand how the system's working, then it's probably the probability of occupancy uh, that's more relevant to you. So there you have it. Uh, I hope you found that uh, useful. So distinction between probability and proportion of units occupied. Probability is for that situation, it's a, the underlying characteristics of, of our units, whereas proportion is an outcome of that process and whether or not the species was actually present or absent at the time of surveying. Hope you found that useful. Uh, until next time, see you later. Thanks.